Good morning, YouTube, YouTube land, everybody out there. I want to go ahead and do this video on my squirrel guns, why I have them, and different reasons why you can use these guns in different purposes, different situations. So in this video, we're going to talk about squirrel guns, starting out the basics and beyond. So here we go. I got you now. He almost got me. Assalamualaikum. So I'm out here braving the misty rain. Check it out. To uh, to go over these guns and and show you my arsenal for squirrel hunting and uh, and the different loads and stuff and why I have them. Because as I'm doing this, there's like a squirrel there and a squirrel there. I feel like they're spying on my secret weapons. But here we go from the top. We have I've got my little 410. Got my 20 gauge 870 right here. Got my 22, the Marlin 60 right here. Last one I got is my Remington 870 12 gauge. I know, I know, some of these need to be cleaned, but they're tools and I use them all the time, so they're never clean. All right, so the first gun I want to t tell you about is my, this is a little Savage 410, okay? Check it out. Down the barrel. It's the old wooden stock. I got this shotgun when I was like seven. I wanted a squirrel gun and my grandpa had this little shotgun for his field trials for training his bird dogs. So he gave it to me and at that time I could barely pull the hammer back. But uh, because this is a break open 410. But it was the perfect starter gun because there was no real safety to mess up and it was small and light for my hands and it was a 410 and 410s are just loud but they're a great squirrel gun because out to about 20 or 30 yards like check that squirrel right there you see hey, where'd he go that's a perfect 410 shot right there it doesn't tear them up it usually just hits them with a few pellets and it'll knock them down they always go down this one but when you get up there a little ways, you, you forget about it. You gotta get them close. So it teaches teaches a little something. So for you probably pick this gun up for like 50 bucks at a pawn shop, maybe less. Or you can buy them new little break opens. I think at Walmart for like 79, 80 bucks, and 12, 20, and 410, and you're rocking and rolling. So the introduction to squirrel hunting is cheap. Okay, next gun. All right. The second gun that is a great squirrel gun. This is my Remington model 870 pump and a 28 inch barrel. And it has, I think I got the full choke in right now. You can see anywhere from a modified to a full will work. Full might work a little better because you can reach on up there a little better. Anything you can hit a squirrel with, you can easily kill him. I just use these sure shot uh, seven and a halves um, for the 20 gauge. They work just fine. You can use eight shot. I mean, if the foliage is thick, you're not going to hit them very far. But anywhere between six and eight, preferably six and seven and a half, serve you just right. You can get in this gun for like 270 bucks, probably cheaper used. And this will do everything from squirrels to dove to even duck. But I like the 20 gauge because it doesn't tear them up. It's like 410 barely kills them. <laughs> 12 gauge obliterates them. 20 gauge is a happy me medium, you know, so if you gotta have that short, close shot, you're not gonna tear them up as much, but you can still reach up. All right, so the next rifle, save this one, this is my favorite. This is the Marlin 60, okay? This is a 22 auto. I got a little Simmons uh, 3 by 9 by 32 on it, and It'll reach out there 40, 50 yards, a little further if you're good with it. It doesn't tear up the squirrels that bad with the 22 caliber. And um, as far as bullets using in it, I've used everything from CCI mini mags. They're okay, expensive. Don't really need them unless you're shooting something bigger like maybe a pig or something. Get a little faster, hot around. But these golden bullets, even though they're total junk and the bullets rattle around inside of them, they're cheap, they totally do the job. A little hollow point, knock down quite a few squirrels with these. Um, for like a box, I got a 500 pack for like $23. 
so they're like maybe a couple bucks a box they used to be like 89 cents when i first started hunting but my model 60 <laughs> runs these rounds like perfect and drives tax with them even though they're jiggly and they they look cheap but they go pow and the squirrel falls so that's all that really matters right so 22 marlin 60 get into it i think i got that one for 100 bucks when i was like 13 or 12 years old um but you can run into them cheap you can buy one brand new for like 150 bucks now between the 1022 the ruger 1022 and the marlin 60 1022 is probably nicer but the marlin 60 will still last you a long time kill a lot of squirrels and it's reliable and it's kind of a pretty gun so moving right along last gun is it's probably covered more miles with me than the other guns because it's just a beast last but not least is the this is the remington 870 super mag 12 gauge shotgun okay this is my turkey gun my dove gun my duck gun my deer hunting when I was buckshot gun goose gun this is probably overkill for for squirrel um, it's a great bird gun it can shoot any load 12 gauge they make and uh, um, I usually run a modified or full choke in it this will reach up there and get them okay they're not running very far with that thing but the problem with using these 12 gauge, 12 and well, the big shotguns is when they go off, the whole world, all the woods go quiet. 22, you can usually shoot and the squirrels will keep doing their little thing. Shotgun, they go quiet for 10, 15, 20 minutes or all the all together. So that's you got what you got to take into mind with these big shotguns. And I'll usually run something, you know, seven and a half, eight, six shot, and uh, depending on how much foliage there is. If they're way up there in the trees and it's got to go through some it's got to go around some some leaves six shot but you can kill them at eight and kill them seven and a half 12 gauge is great gun basically squirrel hunting is take whatever you have if you're just getting into hunting a little 410 for 50 bucks and a box of shells or a little single shot 22 will do it and just zero it in and know your weapon system and just have fun like i said this little guy right here is killed plenty plenty of of squirrels let me tell you just a little 410 it's rusted i need to clean it but it is more than capable of dispatching just about any squirrel out to about 25 30 yards so if you got a little kid and he's wanting a little gun 410 i'll do it you'll be happy with it so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe Comment down below of your favorite shotgun or 22 so we know, you know, what everybody likes and we can share. And I'll see you guys later.